Um, did you get the point where we were talking about the uh, the messiahs who will be able to articulate yes. these ideas yes. much more perfectly? Yeah, that's the number 46. Okay, so in the surface, uh, we um, see that the name Adam has a numerical value of 46. Uh, we um, begin to then make the connection, the correlation to what the uh, prophets were saying in the scriptures that the temple of God was 40 and six years in building. 40, of course, being the time of the children of Israel's sojourn in the wilderness of the nations, and therefore out of all the nations is God creating the perfect Adam, out of all religious traditions, out of all races of humanity. <clears throat> and so the temple of God is, of course, through this understanding, perceived to be man himself, Adam. Now, you can take the, the numerical properties of the name Adam. You have Adam, David, Moshiach, Messiah. So in these three uh, numerical properties of the name, what you see is you have Adam in the beginning, David in the middle, and that's where balance comes from. See, David appears 3,000 years after Adam and 3,000 years before us. And that's why it says that when the Messiah who comes, the name will be David or David, because David represents balance, harmony, upon which everything can be balanced. The past to the future, male to female, heaven to earth, and Va. The, the, the middle letter in the name David, of course, is the center of the tree of life, Tiferet, beauty. So we begin to take all of these names, and when we become uh, skilled in um, the study of the numerical and hieroglyphic value of these names, we begin to see how they all sit on top of each other, define one another, and um, provide structure and form to our thoughts. And once our thoughts are reconformed to the, to the mind of wisdom itself, to the mind of God, then we begin to be created in God's image. Why 40 and six? Well, the letter mem is equal numerically to the number 40. That's in Adam? In, in Adam. See, Adam, rep, uh, e adds up to the number 46, Adam, A-D-A-M, one, four, one, 40. Okay, so now you have the number 46. And so then you take the time of the temple being built, which is also, we are told, 46 years. So you make the correlation and you say, God's temple is Adam. This is where God dwells in man. And then, of course, we know that man has a lower nature and a higher nature, and he must, because in order to be conformed to the mind of God, he must be totally conscious of his potential for evil. And it is in this unveiling of man's lower nature that the new Adam is formed. And as the new Adam is formed, we see it's formed in the principle of balance, which means that Adam is not a male person. Adam is both a male and a female in perfect balance with one with another. And if the first Adam was a male and a female, then the perfect Adam, which is the Messiahs, are also a male and a female.